had an Articulate Storyline question from Joshua today in the eLearning Heroes community, and he was wondering how you can evaluate multiple fill-in-the-blanks on one question slide. Like in this example, we've got this phrase consisting of several words that the learner needs to fill in. So they need to enter each of these words correctly. Let me just finish up my answer here. I had a few of them entered already, but I'll finish the others. And then when I hit submit, then I get my feedback to indicate whether I got the question right or wrong. In this case, I got it right. But if we refresh this, we'll see that if we just, you know, entered some not correct text or we entered you know we left any of these blank and then we hit submit then we would be told that we didn't get the correct answer so here's how you can set something like this up this idea actually came from steve flowers who was a most excellent beta tester during the storyline beta and one thing you should know before we dive in here is the way that fill in the blank questions work in storyline there isn't really a way to evaluate more than one blank on a single question. So what you can do instead is actually make this into a pick one question with a couple of choices. And you can see over here on my slide, off to the left, I've got these two buttons. One is for correct and one is for incorrect. And we're gonna use triggers to automatically select the correct button if all of these blanks on our slide are correct. And the learner's never gonna see this. They just see the slide and their you know, data entry fields. So they don't necessarily know anything about what's going on behind the scenes. So what I did here is once I had my data entry fields inserted on my slide and I added my two buttons over here to the left of my slide, I turned this into a free form pick one question. And the way that you do that is up here on the insert tab, you'll see a button right here. Mine says remove free form because I've already converted this to a free form question, but yours would say convert to free form. And you would click on that button and that would bring up this question editor where you can go through and identify the options that you want the learner to you know, be able to select. Well, because we really aren't you know, allowing the learner to select anything, we're gonna make all that happen with a trigger. Um, we're going to select in the choice column here our two buttons that we created. So there's the one for correct and here's the one for incorrect. And you'll see in this list, you know, this is going to list everything else on your slide too, but you want to go for those two buttons that you created off the edge of your slide stage. And then of course you want to mark the correct one correct like I've done here. And then when you hit save and close is uh, what happens is Storyline is going to create your feedback layers down here in the lower right in the slide layers pane. And now the only thing left to do is to add a couple of simple triggers to make this work. So what we're going to do, and I've already done this in my example, is we're going to come over to the triggers panel here and you'll see this trigger um, that Storyline creates for you called submit interaction when the user clicks the submit button. And that's awesome. That's what we want. But we're going to add a couple of additional triggers. And here's why. This first trigger is going to change the state of this button over here, the correct button to selected, as long as all of these data entry fields are correct. So if the learner gets everything right in those fields, then we're gonna tell Storyline, consider this correct button to be selected. And then this second trigger is kind of similar. This one's going to select the incorrect button if any of our data entry fields are incorrect. So let me just open this up here so you can kind of see what this looks like. The trigger wizard is really cool to work with because um, you basically just tell Storyline what you want to have happen and when. So in this first trigger, what we're doing is the action is we're changing the state of that first button that's called correct to selected when the user clicks the submit button. However, we added a bunch of conditions here. So these conditions are all of these little text variables that Storyline created for us when we you know, inserted our, our data entry fields, each of them needs to be correct. So the one that I've named A needs to have an A in it. The one that I've named gentle needs to have the word gentle in it and so on. So I've, you can you know, name your variables like I've done here. And if you don't know how to do that, we can point you in the right direction. It just makes it a little bit easier to keep things organized. And then similarly with this one. So this one, um, the second trigger is going to change the state of the incorrect button to selected when the user clicks submit if any of these text variables are incorrect. So it's a little bit of a trick, right? Because we're making this look like a fill in the blank question when actually behind the scenes, we've really used the pick one question type to make the logic work on all of these different you know, data entry blanks. So Joshua, I hope that helps give you some ideas and I'll go ahead and attach this file to your forum post so that you can take it apart if you like.